This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents the best of Thor News, Year One, Part One. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It has been one wild ride. Thor News presents Cat Flake Doom. There's a hundred percent chance of Cat Flake Doom this weekend, especially if you're watching this video now. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it's true. This guy's giving me rain strange cat heads with cat legs all day and all night in a bizarre circumstance. Now don't freak out, cause it would've been really bad if it was raining cats and dogs flakes. Then we'd have a problem. But since it's just cat flakes, unless you're allergic to cats, it won't be a big deal, I'm sure. You'll be hearing a lot of meows, and a large percentage of American male men will be saying, wow, this is annoying hearing so many cat meows. I think it's annoying that so many men nowadays use the word annoying. Thor News presents my epic journey. Quitting smoking. Day zero. Alright, here's the deal. My mama asked me to quit smoking for Christmas. Today is Christmas Eve, so I'm enjoying my last pack of delicious Marlboro Menthol Mile 100. They say quitting smoking is as hard as taking heroin. Never tried heroin, but uh, I have tried quitting smoking before, and it sucks. Totally, absolutely sucks. It is one of the hardest things you will ever do in your life. Shut up! I'm quitting smoking! You never, ever, ever give up craving cigarettes. Never. A month down the road, three months down the road, you still want cigarettes. Kind of like the urge you get to have sex. And you can either have sex or you could masturbate and that urge is gone for a few hours. But with smoking, when you quit, can't satisfy that urge. So you just always want it. Cut me some slack. Yeah, I'm quitting smoking. Hey, quit to use this book called Neverness. It's sci-fi. And in it, the hero gets poison. And the poison stays with him for life, tortures him constantly. And that's what quitting smoking is. Being tortured constantly. So, over the next few months, I'm gonna go from like the coolest, nicest guy ever to a total dickhead, which should improve my chances with the ladies, though. So that that's a bonus. Um, you too. Shut your face. I'm quitting smoking. I'm telling you, smoking helps in traffic. I work in Dallas and gotta drive back to Fort Worth about an hour drive to traffic. Bad. And for some reason, everybody's like a dumbass.
dipshit in traffic. Like, they don't understand the law of physics. They don't understand velocity. They don't understand how to use their blinker. They don't understand pretty much anything. They're all in this death trap race with no sense of self-preservation. So many times I want to get out of my car and kick people's windows out or throw old used batteries at their car letting them know that I'm displeased. But thank you to cigarettes, I'm usually able to contain myself. So I watch that, not spending $7 a day on cigarettes. That'll be pretty nice, huh? Thor News presents Asteroid 2012 DA14 Super Close Approach to Earth. Whoa, that looks pretty dang close. Asteroid 2012 DA14 is an object about half the size of a football field in diameter that is going to pass very close to the Earth on February 15th. How close will Asteroid 2012 DA-14 hit Earth? There's really no chance of the asteroid hitting the Earth. Wait, is that because if it actually enters the atmosphere, it ceases to become an asteroid? and becomes a meteor? It does not pose any threat to us. Promise? Is that because we have Chuck Norris waiting in space to kick it out of the orbit? It will pass interior to the geosynchronous satellites and the GPS satellites. Oh. Geosynchronous. Okay, so you did some models and crunched the numbers and you guys are 100% sure it's not going to hit it. But there's really no chance of the asteroid hitting the Earth. But it could smash into some satellite? Are you saying that because, whoa, it could smash into some satellites? Well, considering there's a ton of space junk out there, uh, every cool thing of the asteroid coming through, mowing them over like bowling balls. I'm being attacked by a killer dog, man. I'm being attacked by a killer dog. Somebody help me. I got two puppies that are going to rip my face off. Thor News presents Animal Storm Check Situation Normal. Texas style. I love dogs. I love horses. I love lightning. I love thunder. And I love shooting stars. There's some pretty mean looking clouds rolling in. So I decided to go out and check with the animals. Okay, yeah, so it's like a storm. That's nothing special. Hey, come on, you guys do something cool and exciting. Eating grass is mildly dull. Oh, lightning eyes, Misty. I'm gonna go check with the babies. Uh, it was pretty cool because there was one thing of lightning that set them running my way. I was like, heck yeah, the Thor is happy. Couldn't get any shots of lightning though. Lightning is hard to capture the phone. And I thought, man, 
Abra and Lucky's Guy on the Planet. I hope everybody else feels that way too. Although I hope the women feel like the luckiest women on the planet. The rain. Horses are a lot like the wicked witch of the west. They don't want to get wet. So when the drops of rain, they all headed for the tree. Fun to kiss in the rain. Not horses and dogs though. It was a nice rain. They're all pretty cool. I'm a lucky dude. Something peaceful about a bunch of horses standing under a tree. Have you ever noticed Mother Earth is a really peaceful place? We just love to be so. Thor News presents the series is a planet in our inner solar system and it probably has life. Now lift your skirt and cough, protoplanet. Oh baby, you sure are special. How special is she? She is the only dwarf planet in our inner solar system. She is such a mystery. Hidden is her history. So special, she is one of the number one candidates in our solar system to harbor extra terrestrial life. It's so special. It's got more fresh water than planet Earth. So special. They haven't taken a new photograph of her since 2004. So special. I've started a new series about her. How special is she? The largest asteroid known to mankind. Man, the more I learn, the more I don't know. The more I have to learn. Crazy how that works. It says the Syrian surface is probably a mixture of water, ice. That sounds like life. Various hydrated minerals such as carbonates. That sounds like life. And clays. That sounds like life too. Sounds like a lot of life. Maybe that's why they named her after the goddess of plants, harvest, motherly love, growth, and the environment. Because it has a lot of plants, growth, environment, atmosphere, and motherly love. What I mean, that is like, what the heck? Okay, so it may have life, it's got a ton of water, an atmosphere, it's named after the goddess of nature, an environment, and... Thor News presents Syria and the Price of War Addiction. It would appear that our politicians have become addicted to war. With military interventions in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Yemen, and Syria up next, with Iran waiting on deck, I mean, Syria seems to be a trap. Thor News presents the strange myth.
minimal solar maximum that is double peaked. We're watching the heavens for the signs. Cause it's what we like to do. It's been a very active, very strange solar maximum. Yesterday when I was driving home, I had to get out of my car to stop and videotape the sun because it looks so unusually large. Now I know the sun is massive, but it looked more massive than usual. Huge. 2013 has arrived and solar activity is relatively low. Sunspot numbers are well below their values in 2011 and strong solar flares have been infrequent for many months. They start out by saying that this solar cycle was low. Solar activity is lower than expected. This was going to be a very calm, a minimal solar maximum. Minimal solar maximum. I've been quietly disagreeing to myself. Thor abides. NASA was even saying on space.com the sun's peak of solar activity this year will be the quietest seen in at least a hundred years. The sun's 2013 solar storm peak expected to hit century low. One dude from NASA even goes as far as say that the sun could not destroy Earth. Which is hilarious. And then the Geico lizard backed him up. The facts are correct. We have been in a minimal maximum. And the, the number of sunspots is low. And the amount of X and M class solar flares is low. I don't know if you watch the sun. But I do. The US Thor has been a lot of activity. A lot of freakish activity. Dark explosions, all the activity on the non Earth facing side, the ones that turns away from our planet, then it goes nuts. Thor News presents The End of the Empire of the Sun. Asterisk. I got that title from an article talking about Voyager Satellite 1 and 2 going like a boss deep into unknown and I mean so unknown science super doctor paper and accredited astronomers don't know what is coming next, you know? That is exciting to me. Thor and Voyager still had not reached interstellar space, screwing up NASA's projections. It has been traveling at 38,000 miles per hour consistently. Wow. I wonder how fast we can shoot shit through space now, you think? By at least 200,000 miles? Somebody tweet the president. He should know. Well, Voyager has entered a region no one expected. Oh, really? Wow. I think you'll find that interstellar space is a lot like the whole galaxy and the entire universe. Really? Behaving in ways science does not expect. Voyage is a cool word. And it sounds really cool. And if the fawns said it, it would sound really cool. It'd be like, Voyage. Oh my god, we're shook ever. Well, to me, Maybe it's like I heart Huckabees, and it's less a field and more just a big uniform blanket. You can snuggle up with it. It's like you. It's like you will be. The universe is you will be, bud.
story. Yeah! To able to confirm the history and confidently reveal several more. Finding three low mass planets and the stars habitable zones. Very exciting. I'll be out telling Kurt with Mr. Toonami. Concur? Man, three of these planets are confirmed to be super Earth. Planets more massive than Earth, but less massive than planets like Uranus or Neptune. Oh, I don't think life on other planets in the solar system has to be exactly like Earth. Uh, I'm sure the suns and planets can take out many versions, many variables of what we consider life, right? Thor News presents three planets in the habitable zone. Habitable zone of a nearby star. That's right. They have re-examined Khalees. I guess it's like Khaleesi. 667C. Well, that's just one up from 666. Where does that number sound familiar from? Oh my god, it's evil. That planet star came close to being evil. I'm glad it's not evil. Alright, boy. This is great news, people. Because this means my chances of finding a girlfriend just won't weigh up. I mean, she probably lives on another planet. And if I can get to that other planet, I bet I have superpowers like Superman. That would be freaking wicked. And if I can fly and bulletproof and stuff, there's no way I can't get a girlfriend. Did I say double negative? That's probably what happens. Girls do not like double negative. Um, ain't no way that not right crap. Thor News presents Lizzie. Why you no tweet no more? Okay, yeah, this is, is totally a different subject than I uh, usually cover. And I, I know that you guys have seen that I might be very minorly, but very romantically and um, very safely obsessed with Amy Manger. Because, but. Let's face it, she shares a lot of the same interests I do. She's really pretty, and she's really smart. Uh, I'm sure I'm not her type of guy. Anyway, I also have another tiny crush on a girl named Liz Lee. She was on a show called My Life is Liz. Oh yeah, she's a Jedi. I'm a Jedi. She's a nerd. I'm a nerd. She's a geek. I'm a geek. Uh, she loves Batman. I love Batman. You know, these are, these are simple things, man. You know, I have conversations about Frank Miller, how Lucas totally screwed up. Oh, the fact it would be really sexy or, or romantic or whatever. Anyway, shit. Without making a mistake with this video, I bet I did. She's tiny though. You know, I'm a big dude. I'm like 6'1. And I got shoulders like a mountain. She's.
thanks for everything. Could not have done it without you. I inspire you. You inspire me. I inspire you. You inspire me. I inspire you. That's how you work. Thanks for learning, teaching, 